Yo! What is up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with George Strud, of course, is Death Scarander. And uh, yes, you see, I changed my intro. I saved the old one. Uh, just give me, you know, a heads up if you think this is good or if you think that it was more better. And uh, that goes with the song too, but I'm just trying something out. Uh, anyway, today we're going up against Tesla Mouse. And the Tesla Mouse is definitely one of those good players that, you know, you rarely come around. He's also a pocket tuber and. Um, yeah, people should definitely check this guy out, they have a capture card and whatnot. But he has been somewhat unlucky when it comes to views. He had a good thing going, but it took a break for two months. So when he came back, um, he lost a lot of momentum for his channel. So check this guy out and support him in every way you can. And also, I want to thank everybody who watched my stream yesterday. As you know, I am sick, that's why it hasn't been an upload. But I took the time to record today because... I am still sick, but the voice is not cracking up as much, at least, I hope so. Uh, but besides that, we had an RU match, and look at the team here, we got Hitmali, Omastar, Bennett, uh, Vibrava, Yuxi, and Jolteon. He always brings a Jolteon, so I think that is his lead, to be honest. And I don't have any real ground types against it. Uh, I myself are using Clawless, um, Pangoro, Rhyperior, Magneton, Hitmonchan, and Moltres. The Moltres is actually the first time using, and I don't brought in the spinner, so... Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. So, if any potential setup or like Yuxi is in, then I have to kind of switch Moltres in to void it off. But besides that, um, I did think that either his Vibrava, Jolteon, or um, Bannock could be his lead. So, I was hoping for Jolteon, so I'm just going to start myself with the Clawless, uh, because then I can bait him for a Volt Switch and hoping that his specs... But, uh, yeah, besides that, uh, I'm just going to go right on at it. It's a very strong team, and I'll try to cope with that the best of my abilities. So, with that in mind, let's go. So, yeah, at the get-go here, the Jolteon is going to come, and I need, like I said, I had that in mind. I was really thinking that could be an obvious lead. But like I said, Glorious is going to start off here, and I'm just going to switch out straight off the bat to the um, Rhyperior. And I'm not going to take any chances, um, he could be life or if that's the case, then I'm going to switch out to the Magneton. So he goes for the Volt Switch, so if he doesn't hard switch, that means that he's life Volt. So I'm just going to switch into my Magneton, and hoping I see the Power Eyes or um, Grass. I actually void those off rather well, and actually chains for Hidden Power. So that obviously means two things, that means it's life Orb, that means of course that it's faster than everything on my team, which means that my Rapiro can't cope with it, so I have to keep that in mind throughout this battle. My Magneton is taking a huge chunk of damage, even though the Volt Switch is stabbed, it's still resisted, but Special Defense my Magneton might not be the best. So I actually went for a Flash Cannon here, just getting some neutral action going, because I knew we had Vibrava to be kind of dumb of me of going for... <clears throat> I mean, going for um, Volt Switch plus, um, obviously, Jolteon has a <laughs> Volt Absorb. So, anyway, I go with my Moltres. I did expect him to set up rocks here, but he actually goes for U turn, so that is kind of fine. Obviously, I can take that rather well, but I don't have any stealth rocks on my own, so this will be probably will live no matter what. He's gonna go into the Oma Star here, and uh, I was really thinking I was going to outspeed this one. I am not. And it is because I'm specially defensive investment, I am not the fastest I can be. And this is a Power Herb Moltres with the Solar Beam and Agility. And Agility was there only because I knew that it would be a good way to kind of set up with Moltres and outspeed everything that kind of go up against me. But this almost works in my favor. Sadly, it has the Sash. I was like, ah, oh, of course you have. Why? Why did I fall for this? I was really hoping for him Shell Smash and... But anyway, I gotta go into Amber. I know I can take a Scald rather well. I mean, not well, but well enough. And uh, after this, is gonna follow up with either an Asian Power or Earth Power. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna get some momentum out of this. But my Moltres is pretty much dead. Uh, it's not due for this battle whatsoever. Plus, my Amber or my Clawless is uh, definitely whittled down to half of HP, actually. So I'm not in a good position whatsoever. So Hitmolee is going to come in and just clear the field. This is what Hitmolees do. If you can't stop it, then you have to sack something every time it comes in. And obviously this is no different. I'm just going to sack off the Moltres, which feels really bad because I really like Moltres and I want to use it, but this was definitely not of its battles. And um, yeah, the only Pokemon I have that can kind of cope with uh, on Hitmolee is my Hitmonchan, actually. And my Hitmonchan is Assault Vested. 
and is actually invested in defense and attack. So I know I can take a close combat, but I'm not too sure how well. But he's actually gonna force to switch himself out of there. And gonna go into the Vibrava to sack that. And that is completely fine, of course. You definitely get the free switch into whatever he wants. And as of right now, I, like I said, I really can't cope with the Hitmalee properly. And he's just gonna go into his Yuxi, and I felt really like I can't really stay in. So I'm going to expect him to set up Stealth Rocks and whatnot. And uh, go into my Flayed, the marvelous creature that is the Pangoro. And he's gonna go for a U turn. Yeah, that really sucks, because that means that the Hitmalee is gonna come back in. And I can't sack off Flay just yet, because I know Flay is a hard counter for his Yuxi. So I have to sack something else now, so I'm gonna sack the Claw List, so yeah. It's not going well, it's not going well. Second poke is going down for my team, and he only lost one so far, so... It's, or he actually lost two, so actually four for four, but he has a uh, Hitmalee you know, pretty well going. He has the Yuxi down, and the got the Jolteon, you know, unscratched. We got a lot of hard hitters on his team that I can't really work around. So I'm just gonna go with Desotroya! And I'm gonna go for Rock Blast. I do expect him to switch out to the Yuxi, and um, because it has Levitate and whatnot. So, um, yeah, like I said, go for Rock Blast, hoping for the best. And at this point, I'm just gonna stay in. I sadly missed this Rock Blast. I don't know how much damage it would do, but since I locked into my. <laughs> Rock Blast, he knew he can't really stay in and trying to fend me off. So he's just gonna hard switch into his Mega Banet, which of course is not Mega Banet just yet. And uh, the Rock Blast will do some fair amount of damage here. Um, he's gonna frisk me for choice bands, so now he knows that I'm locked, which it wasn't obvious before. Kind of was, I guess. But I'll hit him three times and it will not be enough to take him out. And. Um, the issue here is that I know Bannet is faster than my Rhyperior, and how often doesn't Bannet catch with the Pain Split? So I forced myself out in case it went for that, because I really, really couldn't risk that, and I... Yeah, obviously it was just something I didn't want to <laughs> take any chances on, and it actually goes to Protect, so not bad play at all, actually. But here comes the Pain Split, as I expected, and... Uh, you know, it's a plus minus zero for me, that doesn't really matter. I went for Flash Cannon in case that he decided to go for the, um, the Jolteon, no matter what. I really need some damage from that Jolteon. So Hitmalee is gonna come back again, and you know, he just, like I said, he just clearing the field. He's going for that close combat, getting that neutral touch on the on my poor, poor Magneton. So yeah, at this point I really really didn't feel I could do anything properly against this Hitmalee. So I just think Desotroya has solid rock, it could probably take one and take it out. So I actually went for an EQ this time. And uh, you might find it strange, but the thing was, I knew he was gonna switch out to his Yuxi if he wanted to switch out. So I was thinking he's probably gonna go for a U-turn expecting me to hard switch because of his Levitate. And yeah, that is exactly what it does, and I was really happy about this, because that means that <laughs> his forces switched out to either Hitmonlee or Jolteon, and I actually sacked those off because it went red U-turn. Obviously a huge key play there, but definitely like the judgment call, and it was a big risk of doing that. He could might as well have gone for something else to try to do some damage on me, but really at that point I just had to do something, and I'd take out this Jolteon cleanly. And he's gonna go back to his Yuxi, and now I really can't do anything against it, and he knows he can just stay in and wait it out. And he's gonna show me the Thunder Wave here, which is not bad at all, actually. But like I said there, I really, really needed my Pangoro just for this Pokemon alone, because it is the only one who can like, actually hit it hard enough to kind of fend it off. So he's just gonna go for Stealth Rocks, setting up the late game Rocks, which, you know, it's always nice. I hate Stealth Rocks. Uh, Pangoro being sick of this Pokemon, he's just gonna crit this thing straight out of the way. And uh, the only Pokemon he got left is the Hitmalee. And I am yet not sure if I actually can win against it because I don't know if Hitmonchan actually can take um, close combat from Hitmalee. And he's gonna go for the um, unnecessary normal gem fake out uh, since it does outspeed everything on my team. And uh, yeah, I'm basically just gonna hope for that Hitmonchan can take one of these hits. I'm not even sure Rhyperior can take a hit from Hitmonlee with close combat. 
So yeah, I only got those two left. So this is a decisive moment. Apollo Creed is coming in, and this he's going for that close combat. And what do you know, guys? What do you know? My Hitmonchan Apollo Creed just barely, barely hangs on with third HP, and is able to, of course, retaliate with the Drain Punch, which will actually be enough to, after two losses of defenses, to actually take it down. So GG Tesla Mouse. Um, Definitely a close battle, and that U-turn for me with my superior definitely was very decisive because you had a lot of momentum in this game, and I really couldn't cope with this Hitmonlee, obviously, and I couldn't outspeed his two main Pokémon, both Yalteon and Yuxi, which could U-turn out. So definitely taking down the Yalteon was very, very important for this battle, of course. So GG, man, GG. So yeah, I mean, like I said, there. It was definitely like a fun battle, to be honest. Um, I really didn't think it I would come through, to be honest. And it was because I couldn't, like I said, manage with neither Hitmonlee nor the Jolteon. And I think me being ice cold there with Rhyperior really helped me out because it forced my opponent to actually fire something off. And um, the only momentum I could get from this battle was actually to play extremely extremely risky and hoping that it paid off, it could definitely break me if I, if I did a wrong move there, to be honest, and luckily that didn't happen this battle, but we all know it happened before, and uh, I'm sure it would happen again eventually. But uh, anyway guys, you know, thank you for watching, like I said there, and make sure to check out Tesla Mouse. Um, he's definitely a good tuber. I, I just feel that he lost a few a lot of momentum uh, when he stopped uh, uploading for a while, but now he got the capture card, and got the quality behind him, he definitely needs all the support he can get, and for Fucktubers who have been watching me, make sure for that own reason alone that I could challenge him, he's very very good at this, and he's trying to um, battle a lot in the longer tier, and he's not bad at it at all, not bad at all. But anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching of course, and don't forget to leave a like if you like this battle, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the sky is the limit, and I have a capture card now, right? <laughs> yes! And yeah, don't think about the um, intro. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Bye.